football, in a sense, for me, mirrors life. And if you ever played athletics, you can always take those lessons that you've learned over time and you can place them into the arena that you're in right now. For me, football taught me a lot. But one thing it taught me is that when you get knocked down, you have to get back up. You can't stay on the ground. Why? Because you get knocked down so much in football that it becomes a occurrence that I've got to get back up because there's a next play and there's a next and there's a next. In life, sometimes we get knocked down, but we have to get back up. Football also taught me that, you know what, you don't have to have everything instantly. We live in a microwave society with instant gratification. We want it right now. We want it real quick. We want the long touchdown. We want the big play. But you know what it taught me is that three yards on first down is not a bad thing. Coach Ferguson, 10 yards at a time. That's the way we were taught. That was the old school method. Let's get a first down, first down, first down. Convert on third down is still extremely important. So 10 yards at a time, not the microwave instant gratification, but it tells me that sometime in life you've got to work real hard. You've got to put your back to it. You've got to push it out 10 yards at a time. Oh, do we love the big plays downfield with the fans cheering? Do you love for something to happen that's huge? Yes, but that's not the way life really is. Life is about 10 yards at a time. Dealing with disappointment. Now, you can ask any coach or any player or anybody. You've got to learn how to deal with disappointment constantly. You've got to learn how to deal with disappointment during the game, whether you drop a pass or throw a bad pass or miss a tackle. You've got to get rid of it, go back out there and pursue and be the best you can be right away. But sometimes you lose a game. But you know what I've learned over my life? The sun comes up tomorrow, and the people who love me the night before still love me in the morning. Some coaches need to hear that. We need to pray for some coaches right now. <laughs> they still love me in the morning, but you have to learn how to deal with disappointment. But the one thing that I was able to say, not only mirror, but it's a part that has been implemented into my life and will never leave, is that I was created to win and have a winning attitude. It's up to you whether you have a winning attitude. I love teammates who have a winning attitude. Let me ask you a question. Would you like the person who comes in and says, boy, I can't wait the football season to start, we're going to win a championship, or the person who walks in and says, we got Alabama, we got Auburn, doggone it, we got Florida off, but we put Tennessee back on. Which one would you want to play with? You want the person who has a winning attitude. You know what, Coach Vince Lombardi, what an unbelievable coach he was. Not only did he have the players back in the days when he played back in Green Bay, not only did he have, you know, whether it was Bart Starr or Paul Horning or Henry Jordan, but he also had a philosophy that winning is not a sometime thing. It's an all-the-time thing. You don't do the right thing some of the time. You do it all the time. Winning is a habit, but unfortunately, so is losing. So he realized that winning and losing starts in the same place, in the mind. It is up to each individual whether you want to be a winner, mentally, or a loser. 